anything that we do in life. It's, it's about working hard every day to prepare yourself for opportunities. Enjoying the little wins and um, just being a team player in a lot of different capacities. My family, my work team, a lot of, a lot of team energy and uh, personal competition to check things off the list every day. Ultimately playing to win. You know, we're playing to win for our clients to make sure that they reach their goals. We're playing to win to make sure that our uh, team members reach their financial goals uh, for their families. So, uh, taking care of yourself, taking care of your body, eating healthy, and um, how exercising is important. And, you know, I think in the work and personal environment, that really helps manage uh, stress. Think, you know, the big one is giving credit to those who, you know, are on your team or your coach who helped you succeed, which I think often, you know, gets, gets overlooked. But for the most part, it's the boring stuff. Um, habits, routines, sort of the blocking and tackling, if you will, to use a football metaphor. A good teammate is someone that makes his other teammates better. So really in business, especially in wealth management, where you're a fiduciary to your clients, I think, you know, when you try to care about them, you know, as the number one priority, it makes you a better advisor. A lot of time with my clients working on goal setting and the same way that an athlete would see themselves progressing in the gym or getting stronger or faster or more resilient. That applies to the work that we do with our clients, getting them closer to their financial goals. And once right? I stopped playing, um, I had the opportunity to coach some great players, be a part of some, some really incredible teams. And uh, I think there's a level of coaching uh, in being a financial advisor where clients come to us uh, with certain goals and aspirations. And, uh, and that's what when they look to us for that guidance and to help them to get there. And I remember my coach pulling me aside one day because he saw me struggling and he said, hey, I need you to stop focusing on success and I really need you to focus on significance. And I really took from that day forward and try to put that into my practice. As financial advisors, we become such a big part of very intimate parts of people's lives. And so it's really important to connect. And I think when you're part of a team, you really learn to connect with people on a whole different level. Um, as a freshman coming in, you know, you, you weren't really you didn't really expect to start right away. You would, you know, you had to build that trust over time. You had to earn the trust from your teammates, your coaches, and especially to trust yourself, you know, to perform consistently. And I think a lot of that translates as well to, to what you're doing as a, as a wealth advisor. You're Being able to adjust and adapt to lots of different situations inside a team. I think that applies to, to our clients. Our clients come with their own set of ideas and goals and agenda and background and, um, things that they feel and believe. And so it's important to us to listen and understand that. Like, and as an athlete, you're you're forced to perform at the highest level, you know, always under pressure in an ever-changing environment. And you know, it's, it's pretty similar to a lot of our clients' lives, the stock market, right? There's a lot of uncertainty in the world. Uh, Whatever type of training it is you're doing, you're spending long hours with people that you share a common goal with and you know, when you share victories um, with the people that are closest to you, that's when being on a team uh, really is one of the greatest things that you can experience. I feel like at Beacon Point, we are all on the same team. We all have different roles and responsibilities, um, but I think it's pivotal for us to trust. Each department knows what they're doing. Each teammate knows that our best interest is our clients and what, you know, the end result is that. It, the camaraderie is deep. Um, it's well established. It's battle tested. Uh, we've been through a lot together as a group and it has gotten to the point where I feel like the people I have worked with and continue to work with in Beacon Point are family. Strengths and leveraging those strengths to give our clients the best experience possible is great. You know, we might have one member of the team who's really proficient in tax. We might have another member of the team who's really proficient on investments and sort of combining all those talents to, to best serve the client, I think is really great. I think it was my junior year we were playing against an in-rival or an in-league rival and uh, it was dumping rain out and we were up, we were playing up in Vermont and we we're playing on a grass field and I ended up scoring the winning goal kind of at the last minute and as a, it was my first goal and as a celebration, I sprinted down the field and did the Superman dive and <laughs> everybody just jumped on top of me. So that in was... 1989, we traveled to play the University of Texas in Austin and we actually hadn't beaten them at Texas in 25 years. So this was my junior year. We went up and played them uh, at Texas and beat them that year 50 to seven. So that was um, a, a pretty awesome win. Probably one of the best ones in my career that, that stands out is definitely a favorite memory. But uh, back in high school, I grew up in a small town in Alaska. I have three brothers. 
uh, two of which uh, one's identical twin, another one's two years older. So we had a, a specific year in high school where the three of us played um, ice hockey together. And so just being on the ice together, the long winter road trips in, in dark, cold Alaska, you know, the laughs, the joy of the winning, the frustrations of losing, um, and just special memories that uh, from that season that will stick with me forever. And Gosh, my lots of memories from my college volleyball days, but my favorite memory is setting foot on the Final Four stage. Um, that was pretty special, representing uh, USC and my team and getting to compete at the highest uh, level of, of college of volleyball was definitely a highlight of my career.